Hi everyone, my name is Angie Su Young, and today I'm going to talk to you about Roman Bishniak. Bishniak and his family, Jewish refugees fleeing Nazi Germany, arrived in New York City on December 1940. By September 1941, the New York Times reported that he had won an award from the New York Zoological Society, more commonly known as the Bronx Zoo. Bishniak's day, I tried to picture the animals in the zoo as personalities, not an animal that I want to show, but the animal with his particular qualities and expressions. Throughout the first half of the 1950s, Bishniak executed major assignments for life. Um, the photographs appearing in this article have previously been described as having been produced using contrast enhancing modalities, including dark fills, different types of illuminations, polarizations, and phase contrast, all of which were extant though not widely known or utilized by photographers, or a combination of these different methods. The fact that Bishniak did all these different type of methods, um, he became very well known, especially by the one he called colorization. And yeah, Bishniak was able to portray his work and they saw it as innovative technology and he pioneered it. Um, on the right side, you can see that there's pictures on the right side of the picture and left side of the picture. Yeah, the right side, um, you can see comparisons of conventional trans illuminations of histologic sections of tissue specimens versus on the right side, Bishniak's, Bishniak's colorization techniques. Um, I find this is like very interesting because like usually photographers will go um landscapes or portraits but he actually focused on like nature and science and i found his work very unique on the right side on the on the other hand sorry uh you can see uh this is another picture of Bishniak, uh in which you can see her daughter through a firefly's eye i found this work very very good looking because i think like during that time you cannot achieve this type of technique like easily and yeah and you can see like how those little squares among like the picture you can see through like the firefly and i found it like super super um amusing uh then we have this butterfly like as you can see it's not like a big thing it's like a common picture but the techniques he used, especially during this period of time, not everyone or nobody would have thought about getting to this point, at least to this magnitude, to the point like you can see every detail on the insect, the mini minuscule particles of each part of this animal. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, they call this Hyalophora cecropia, which is North America's largest most species, most species. And the work nicely parallel the research that Bishniak nice had done earlier as a graduate student in Russia. Bishniak spoke of how his knowledge of endocrinology and endocrine effects combined with other um scientists, uh yeah. Uh, they convinced other scientists to allow this collaboration of using this kind of different techniques. Um, but yeah, the details of the biological structure can rarely visualize uh, directly in fresh preparation under the polarization microscope, right? Uh, this difficulty has been particularly overcome by introducing compensators into the optimal system having a specific fractional wavelength retardations. Uh, in this manner, the weak by your French sense, it's replaced by various, chroma various chromatic shades of interference colors. The resulting polychromatic image resolves a structural, a structural detail otherwise invisible in the living tissues of plants and animals. Again, I think this picture can tell like how detailed and prominent uh, this picture is. Like the color he used, like like the technique colorization. I think most of his work, it's based on the color and the magnitude, how each component, whether it's an insect from the smallest thing to the biggest thing as a plant, he just like 
take care of every single detail, making it look just almost it's living through the picture, right? And I found his work pretty amazing. Even though like he was not like a person who used a lot of different lightnings or like point of views, the color and the illumination used, it's just amazing. Like if I were in the time where when he was alive, I don't think a lot of people would have thought about using science and combining it with art, making it look so beautifully well done. And yeah, I found it very cool, very interesting, very abstract and very unique way to show life itself in just a minuscule picture. But yeah, these are this couple pictures I cut I caught from him. And I really think that he's very interesting and I am very glad I chose this artist as the person I want to critique because like the only critics I have are just positive and yeah that's all I have for now but thanks for listening and have a good day guys.